Hey, what's going on everybody? So in today's video, what we're gonna be doing is crimping. And this is gonna be part two in our series of just soldering, soldering, tomato, tomato, um, on you know just how to proper, properly crimp and solder, solder wires. So I wanna show you what tool not to use first and this is this is one of them right here. Uh, you'll see that um, this this little tool right here, while it is a good tool to use just like in a pinch, if you can try to avoid a tool like this, and you want to stick with uh, ratcheting crimps like this. Uh, these are going to be your best. Uh, tools for crimping. Now this is going to be a beginner's guide to crimping. Um, I'm not going to go into serious detail or just like a lot of like um, high level crimping techniques mainly because if you are the Molex crimper and you have the mil spec crimping tools chances are you're not watching this video and I'm just gonna just kind of make this video for people who are, you know, just kind of doing some automotive crimping or, you know, just kind of general crimping, um, you know, to fix like radios and kind of things like that. And you want to just be better than your average uh, crimper, which is going to just use some sort of hammer and not really know what they're doing. So uh, first of all, let me kind of explain the different types of crimping tools. So you see right here, you have this crimping tool. What's great about this crimping tool is that it's for insulated uh, crimps. So like for example, actually let me get out uh, this tray right here and you can see what I mean. So here you have your red, blue, yellow. And then you see on this uh, crimper right here, you have red, blue, yellow. So, and what I mean by that is these little dots right here is, you know, like, let's see, right there, you have your red, blue, and yellow, and, um, or yellow, blue, red, sorry. And what that means is that it's going to, it's, it's going to, um, match the, the insulation that you have here. So for example, see, so for example, if you have a wire and you want to plug it into here, and I'm just kind of demonstrating for, for right now, but you'll just take, a, you'll just match it up with the color. So you'll just match it up with blue right there, right? And then you will just squeeze down and crimp. And what it's going to do is the, the crimping tool is going to give you the perfect crimp f like with cal calculating the insulation, the plastic insulation. So that's what's good about uh, your kind of these, these crimps right here. They're calibrated for insulated uh, terminals. Okay, so now let's say that you have a naked terminal like this and yeah, so you have like a little naked terminal like that so it doesn't have any insulation. And that's where these come in right here. And so um, the difference is the jaws go by size and you would just line up the size for this particular, for your particular terminal. And then you would crimp from there. So. Uh, the good thing is that you don't have to worry about how hard to crimp or if you're crimping too light, too hard, because they're already calibrated. And then you can also fine tune it from this little thing right here. You can fine tune it from this little wheel. So that's a good thing. And I will say that, you know, with, with crimping, it's one of those things where you know, you're just gonna have to practice. You're just gonna have to spend time mastering your craft. So, you know, if you don't get it right the first time, just keep keep playing around with it until you, until you get it right. So now, let's see, I'll give you an example. 
uh, of what, what we can do here. So you see we have our wire right here. We'll just put our wire in, in like this. Now, one thing I do wanna talk about is when you are crimping, all right, so you wanna pay attention to how far the wire sticks out. So you can see right there, this is gonna be called your conductor brush. And this brush, brush length is you know, determined by the size of your terminal and everything like that. And so you don't want it you know, coming way out here and then you don't want it like halfway inside you know, of the barrel right here. So you kinda wanna <clears throat> just make sure that a little bit is sticking out and sometimes that can be calculated by the diameter of the wire that you're using. Usually it's like one to 1.5 times the diameter of, of uh, your wire. So that's, I, I believe that's correct. Uh, leave a comment down below if I'm wrong. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take our crimping tool. Now, before we start crimping, I wanna show you something. So you see right here, you see right here this little um, seam right there. You see that? Now, a lot of times people will just crimp this from the top. They'll just crimp this from the top, but actually that's wrong. You don't wanna do that. So what you wanna do is you see, you see how this part right here is recessed in and this is protruding out. So you see right here, your barrel and how there's that little seam right there. So that seam, a lot of people get this wrong. So that seam should go in the bottom part of the, the crimping tool. So you see it's gonna sit on the bottom. And so that way when it gets crimped, this doesn't break, this doesn't separate. So I'll, I'll show you what I mean. I'll, I'll go ahead and just kinda crimp right here. I'll go ahead and crimp, let's see. So you can see right here I have it in the jaws and I'm just gonna go ahead and crimp. Okay, now you see how it's, it's broken open right there, right? And so what happens is sometimes you can cut the wires, right? This, this creates a, a sharp edge and it can cut the wires. So that's why you don't crimp from this top part. Okay, so what you can do is you can just take your barrel, right? You can just take your barrel and you can set it. You can kind of just kind of set it like this, right? And you can see right here, you can just set it in there. And then once it's locked, but you're not putting any force on it, you're just holding it. And then you can just take your wire and put your wire in like that, right? And then once it's seated, crimp it. And then, so you see now, see how this is still intact? The seam is still intact, right? So this is still in good shape, right? That, that's not broken open or anything like that. But if you turn around, you see you have a good crimp right there in the center. Now, we'll talk about the, the bell mouth. So this part right here, this little flare, see how, see how it's flared open and everything like that? So that's gonna be your bell mouth. And with that, um, that, you know, you don't want it flared open too much and you don't want it too tight because you, you need the wire to have some room to flex. And if this, is, if this isn't flared open enough, if this little 
section right here toward the end. If this isn't flared open enough, you can see right there, then you can cut, you can cut the wire. So, <clears throat> so you want to make sure that you get your crimp die, you know, in the middle so that it doesn't, so that you have a nice bell mouth, uh, a good bell mouth. And, one, and another thing is just, it's just going to take practice on getting this dialed in just right. Okay, so here's your crimp. So then now you're just going to do a pull test, right? You're just going to make sure if I even, if I kind of put this in there, I'm really pulling. So it's, it's on there. This is, this is crimp pretty good. Okay, so this is this is on there, and you can see right here um, we have you know we have our conductor brush right here. the The brush length is not sticking out too far or anything like that. So uh, this is this is pretty good, and that's how you're gonna that's how you're gonna crimp, um, and this is how you just do you know make really good crimps or you know decent crimps. Um, and this is going to be a lot better than what you see, you know, on majority of, of, you know, cars or, you know, just automotive stuff, DIY automotive stuff. So this is definitely going to set you apart. Now, here's another, here's another uh, crimp right here. Um, or this is, I guess you could say another, you know, terminal. And what's nice about this is that you know, you can put one wire in on this side and it actually will, it, it actually has a little stopper in the middle. So you can put one wire in on this side and another wire in on this side. And then you're just going to take, you know, your crimpers that are designed for, or, you know, that are calibrated for um, the insulation and then you would just crimp right here and then so on. And also another thing, if you set your crimp and it's locked, right? It's, it's locked and you, you're thinking like, oh gosh, you know, I, I, I wanna take this out. I don't wanna lose this crimp. I don't, I, I wanna, I made a mistake. I need to remove this crimp. Then you can just hit this little lever right here and it'll open the crimp tool back up. Okay, so that's uh, good. That's good to go. So now we have an insulated terminal. Okay. So what we can do like before, we can just go ahead and set it up. Now, this one's going to be a little bit trickier to find that seam because it's in this uh, insulation. All right. So one cool thing that you can do with these insulated terminals is you can just pull them out like this. So there we go. Boom. So you see right here, we, we have a bare terminal. And so if you, if you need, actually, let me just get the, okay, there we go. That's better. All right. So if you need, you know, just to use the bare terminal, or if you want to find where the seam is, you know, like if you want to see where the seam is so that you, you know the proper way to crimp, then you can like, once you locate it, then you can just, you know, take your insulation and, whoops, you can just take your insulation right here and then just put it back like that, boom, until it, and then just kind of turn it, there we go, like that. All right, so here we go. So we have red. We have red in here. Red right there. And then we're just going to go ahead and stick in our wire, which is 18 gauge. Whoops. There we go. All right, so you can see here, that is tight that is on that is in there and that is good to go all right so that's why you need this tool for insulated crimps and then for your bare terminal crimps you're going to need this tool right here okay all right so now we got one more for you 
All right, so now we have this big guy right here, and this is going to be um, for your larger terminals. Now, if you are gonna be uh, crimping battery terminals like this for automotive use, um, you know, and you don't want, once again, you don't want to solder or solder. You don't, you don't want to, um, you know, mess around with lead or, you know, maybe your client doesn't want to use lead or where you're working at or anything like that, then you're going to have to crimp. And so that's where this big crimper comes in. And so this is a really cool crimper and it's also calibrated as well because once these two, um, dies touch, then the crimp tool maxes out and everything. So you can see right here, uh, this thing is, this thing is, it's massive. I mean, this, this thing is, it's, it's huge. Like, you know, you can see compared to the, the, um, this little battery terminal right here. But how it works is, so on this battery terminal, you can see right there, it's a one aught. So this is a one aught battery terminal. So what you would do is you would open this up, right? You would open this up like this and you would just search for your size. So you see here, it says one aught right there. And then you just line both of them up. So you just line both of them up to one aught, right? And then you would put your terminal in here like this, okay, right? So then you would just put your terminal in like this, you know, boom, and then you would just crimp down on this until you got, and you would just, yep, until this came in, and then as you, you would just go all the way until it locks. See how it locks like that? And then once it locked, then you would just open it back up and then you would have, you would have your crimp. And then same rule apply, you know, you would crimp uh, in, in the middle and you would always work, you would always start from the bottom and then work your way out. So you would start, um, you would start crimping here and then work your way back. Okay, all right, so that's gonna be it for today uh, in terms of crimping and how to crimp. I'm trying to make this video short, so hopefully it doesn't go too long again, like the soldering video, but um, yeah, I just wanna give a you know a basic introduction to crimping and um, you know just so that you're not doing anything like hammering your crimps and all that kind of stuff because you don't wanna do that. So if I left anything out or if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. And if this video has helped you, if it's improved your way of crimping and just, you know, you've learned something new, then uh, please hit that like button. Please subscribe if you're new to the channel and welcome to the channel as well. And, um, and on that note, see everybody next time.